guys, couple things. I stabbed myself in the eye right here with like a brush while I was doing my makeup. I saw stars, not even stars, like little, little tweety birds just like around my head. That was painful. I'm glad I could still see though. That's one. Two, this video is coming to you extra, extra, extra late this month because I actually didn't get my box till a couple of days ago. And then when I filmed this video two days ago, my mic was turned off, well my mic had died. I had to change the battery and I didn't realize it was dead. So I filmed the entire boxy sherm unboxing in mute, no sound. And I cannot tell you how mad I got because I literally, my, my most recent video that happened to me as well. So I had to do like a whole voiceover, but I couldn't do that for this video because like I got nothing. There was no sound at all. So I had to sit down right now and refilm it for you guys. But these are always first impressions and I always do my makeup on camera with you guys. So we could really test out all the products for the first time and I can give you my opinion. But today that's not the case. I already have an opinion because I've already used these products. So I'll tell you how I feel as I go. And I will be inserting the clips of me trying out all the products from my other videos since you don't need sound but you can still see me testing them out for the first time and by the way obviously I've already unboxed all of this so all the packaging is gone because I threw away all the boxes when I unboxed everything luckily I still had my actual boxy charm here in this room so I can show it to you like this because I usually just put all the makeup in my drawers and then throw away the packaging but you know what it actually worked out having to refilm this video today because the scab on my lip is a lot smaller when I filmed this video yesterday, in the middle of the night, like the night before, I was filming this video like at 3 a.m. But I had a really big scab on my lip. It's still there, but much smaller. And I didn't want to try out the lip liner that's in the box because my lip hurt so bad and it was super painful, but I'm wearing it on my lips today. So, you know what? It ended up working out for us because I have a lot more thoughts than I normally would have. So, let's just, let's just dive right in. So the first thing in the box is actually my favorite product in the entire box. I was super, super impressed with this palette. This is from Wander Beauty and it's their Wondrous Escape eyeshadow palette. I did a really simple look when I was testing it with you guys, like when I was first unboxing the box. And I just used a little bit of the Enchanted shade in my crease and this really pretty shimmery pink called Flourish all over my lid. It was very, very simple, but I was extremely impressed with the foily shade. Even the matte blended out really well, super smooth. But this foily shade is really, really magical. Like it just looks so wet, even without trying. Like you barely dip your finger into this and it's super metallic. I was really impressed with this. I really liked it. So much so that I wanted to wear it again today. Honestly, I can totally see myself using this palette often. All of the shades are really nice. At this point, the only shades I haven't tried are Stargaze and Sea Glass, but I have all of the other shades on my eyes right now. And the mattes, so creamy, so blendable. I'm wearing Santorini all over my lid. And then I have Daydream, like this sparkle right in the center like on top of Santorini and it is it is so good the sparkle in it it's really pretty the only thing is that this daydream shade does have a lot of fallout like my cheeks are all glittery right now so I definitely recommend doing your eyes first if you're gonna use that shade but still so nice like the quality of this palette is really really good so I'm happy with that I definitely think it's like one of the best palettes we've gotten in the box so far. Okay, and then the next thing in the box is actually a mascara from the brand Pure, and it's their fully charged mascara powered by magnetic technology. I don't know what magnetic technology is, and I feel like I've used this mascara in the past, but I do really, really like it. It's one of those mascaras that I feel like you have to build up a little bit. Like, it's not instant volume the second you put it on your eyes. It requires a little bit of building, but I love that it just combs through every single lash. Like, you look like you have a lot of lashes it doesn't really clump them together and it gives it nice length and volume it's really really black I actually really really enjoyed it they just made my lashes look a little bit more feathery and wispy and like more soft and romantic which I really liked so this was definitely a big plus for me I love receiving like really good mascaras in the box because it's a product you're always gonna need and always use especially that I don't use falsies that often love getting a mascara okay so this next product I wasn't too too crazy about this is from the brand Aesthetica <laughs> I don't know how to say that and it is their cream contour palette and there wasn't anything Specifically about it that I didn't like like honestly. I think the formulas are pretty nice I used the lightest bronzing shade, but I felt like it was a little bit too fair for me like too light So then I used the color in the middle which I thought was perfect for my skin tone and honestly it worked like I contoured my face I used a little bit of the light yellowy shade underneath my eyes to brighten up my eyes And I feel like it did brighten up my eyes a bit, but honestly, it's I just don't use products like this anymore I was really into them a few 
few years ago, but it's definitely something more suited for makeup artists, people who do makeup on a lot of different people, different skin tones. But for me personally, especially the way I do my makeup, it's just not something I feel like I would get much use out of it. I'm definitely gonna see if my friend Gabby wants this because I feel like it would be perfect for her kit. Like I said, probably better for makeup artists, but not something I really reach for, even though it was good, like I said, like I can't complain. It's just not personally for me, not something I really like or gravitate towards, you know? Pero tu sabes. But gusto se hicieron los colores. Okay, so something I didn't try out the other day because of my bloody lip. But we also get the Dragon Beauty Lip Job Liner and Sharpener in the box. And this is a very large. This is, this, this is the biggest lip liner I ever did see. And my head is humongous. Like, I have the biggest head I've, I've ever seen. So you get like a lot of product in this, I think. I don't know what the average is, but seems above average but I don't think there's a specific shade name and if there is it's not on the pencil I it drives me crazy when when companies don't put the name of that the the name of the, oh the name of the shade on the pencil packaging unless it's called lip job liner and that's it there there's only one lip job liner you know and if that's the case I like it I'm wearing it I'm wearing it on my lips right now and I used to be like a wooden lip liner hater. They used to drive me crazy because they, they were always so dry, pointy, like hard, and just not pleasant to use. But I feel like wooden lip liners have come such a long way from those days. Like there are so many of them that are super creamy. Like this one, for example, is a very, very creamy uh, lip liner. Like even just watching it, you see it just glides onto the lip. It's not pinchy at all, even if it's super sharp. I feel like the formula is really nice and not hard and dry whatsoever. However, and I've been recently wearing the the wooden lip liners from Anastasia that they recently launched and those are really nice too I feel like wooden lip liners are are making a comeback and they're definitely a lot better than they were 10 years ago, I'll tell you that much. Super into this, really, really love this shade. I wear shades like this all the time This is definitely like my kind of lip definitely right up my alley. So I like it. And then the last product is actually uh, another product I didn't try out when I was opening the box originally because when I read Super Fruit Radiance Balm. For some reason, I thought it was a lip balm <laughs> and not a face balm. So I had already put on my foundation, my concealer, and I couldn't test it with you guys in person. But earlier when I was doing my makeup, I just threw it on my face as a primer. Just to give you guys some feedback on this product. First of all though, this smells so good. I cannot stop smelling it. It has a very, very, very light scent, but it is so good. It's like, it's more than oranges, it's like a creamsicle because it's like a sweet, creamy orange, but very soft, sugary. Oh my gosh, it smells so, so, so good. This is from a brand called Earth Harbor Naturals and it's their Nymph Nectar Super Fruit Radiance Balm. And it's supposed to be really good for your skin. It has vitamin C, A, E, K, omegas, amino acids, and a bunch of other bioactives necessary for achieving your best, bounciest, dewiest skin yet. And like I said, I used it today as a primer underneath my foundation and I do feel like it made my foundation look extra glowy like it made it look nice and dewy and moisturized and bouncy I agree with that but not greasy or like slippy when I think of like a balm like this especially like a hard one that like melts into the skin I think of something really greasy almost like a makeup remover but it was not as slippy I actually really did like the texture and I felt like it sank into my skin really well like it didn't slip around I don't know I really liked it I'm definitely gonna try it out a little bit more but so far so good and I hope it doesn't break me out or anything like that so yeah I'm gonna keep testing that out and we'll see but Okay, guys, uh, that's it. That is everything I got in this month's Bexy Sherm. I actually really, really like this box. There was only one product that I was like, eh. But the rest, I definitely see myself using like a ton. And the overall value this month was 160 bucks. That's expensive. But yeah, guys, uh, that's it. Let me know what you got in your box this month. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did we get the same things? Let me know in the comments below. But that completes this video, guys. I love you so, 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 so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.